and sad. I'm so sad. Hey guys, I'm here to do a review of Wonderlust by Elizabeth Eves. I read this book over the past few days, um, and if you remember two videos, two videos ago, ago, I read Sideways on a Scooter, another travel memoir, and I was not happy. And unfortunately, again, I am not happy. This book is awful. I looked at some reviews after I got about like 150 pages in, the book's 301, 301 pages, and after I got halfway and I was like, wow, this is terrible, I looked at some reviews on Goodreads, and it turns out there are two camps. There is, I love Wonderlust, and there is, oh my gosh, this book is the worst thing ever. And I am part of the, this is the worst book ever. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. She travels to a bunch of countries and meets a bunch of guys and she has sex with all of them while still in a relationship with the last one. It's it's basically a story about her infidelity. Like that's what the book is and I guess after reading the cover, A Love Affair, Wonderlust, A Love Affair with Five Countries, it should say Wonderlust, A Love Affair with 17,000 Men. And no, it's not 17,000 men. But I swear, like, she's dating one guy, she meets another guy and sleeps with him, and starts dating that guy. And then she meets another guy, and she sleeps with him. And then she starts dating that guy, and meets a new guy, and sleeps with him. And it's just like a repetitive story over and over till the end, which I'm not going to spoil for you, in case you want to read the book. If you've read this book, and you loved it, please tell me why. Because I can't figure it out. Um, the story, the writing itself is very bogged down in detail and it's very jumpy. Nothing really flows as one cohesive story. And that does have a tendency to happen in travel memoir, memoirs when a lot of times people look back at diary entries to recreate the story of this great adventure they went on. And, uh, this doesn't even read like diary entries, it reads like Miss Eves tried to write a cohesive novel off of her travels and it ended up turning into a series of short stories. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, it's like a series of short stories without any definite separation between them. It's, it is hard to read and that makes me sad. Because I wish it wasn't. Because I was really looking forward to reading a half-decent travel memoir. I got, I think I got spoiled with A Good Girl's Guide to Getting Lost. Oh, love that travel memoir so much. Nothing has lived up to it. I just keep finding myself disappointed again and again and again. The next book I'm reading is All Over the Map, another travel memoir. Let's hope it's better than this one. We will dream. We will hope. We will hold on to that hope. I cannot tell you how many times I, like, looked up <laughs> from reading this book and I was like, really? Really? Like, why? Why? And I have this problem where I can't stop in the middle of reading a book and just, like, throw it out and say, well, that didn't work out. I can stop after about two chapters if I hate it, but I held on to hope for this book. Like, Sideways on a Scooter. I thought the book was slow. It was very bogged down in history. But it was okay. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I still gave it three stars. Three out of five stars or two and a half out of five stars. This book on Goodreads, one star. If I could give a half star, I'd give a half star. But I can't. So I'm going to give it one star. I appreciate people writing about their travel, but this book just about killed my desire to go somewhere. It's just so surrounded in her sexual escapades in each country and fawning over this guy and that guy. It's like a poorly written romance novel in a travel memoir. So, disappointed. Too bad. Hopefully All Over the Map gives me something better. <laughs> Hopefully, because I want to read something good. But that's my review of Wonderlust. Unfortunately, I'm not pleased. There are many books out there that I can read. 
like I said, tell me what you thought of Wonderlust. If you've read it, comments down below. If you've read a travel memoir that you love, please leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your suggestions and dive into one that's hopefully at least half decent. I'd settle for half decent on, on the higher side of the star count. So I'd love to, uh, to hear from you guys. Talk to you later.